Hey guys, welcome back to the third part of the video series in which I am talking about the serialization of C-sharp objects. So in this part, I am going to show you how to serialize and deserialize any C-sharp object into the JSON format. If you haven't watched the first two videos, then I would highly recommend you to do that because those are about the binary serialization and the XML serialization. If you are just here to watch the code example about how to serialize an object using the JSON format, then you don't need to do any of that and then just stick with this video to watch the code example. So let's get started with the code. The first thing that we need to do is to import the NuGet package for the NewtonSoft.json and this can be done by going to this NuGet package manager menu and then open up the, um, the manage NuGet packages window and then you will need to download and install the NewtonSoft.json package. Next up is including the namespaces which we are going to need to serialize the object into the JSON format. So using newtonsoft.json and we also need another one newtonsoft.json.link now let's just extend this data serializer class to include the methods to serialize and deserialize in the json format along with this binary and xml serialization first let's just add the methods for the serialization and deserialization so public void and then json serialize this is going to accept the arguments for the the object data which we are going to serialize and also the file path in which we are going to save the serialized stream so string file path and then for deserialization public object and then json deserialize this is going to accept the file path only the file path because we don't need the object data so file path and now object obj equals to null let's just return it in the end and let's just get back to this method later first we can implement this one so the first thing that we need to do is to create the object for the json serializer class so json serializer equals to new json serializer now let's check if the file path is pointing to a valid file or not. If it doesn't, then we can simply go ahead and create a new file. Otherwise, we will need to first delete the existing one. So if file.exists, file path, then file.delete the file which is, I'm sorry, pointed by this file path. And now we need to create the file and for that we are going to use the stream writer class object so stream writer sw equals to new stream writer and then let's just provide the file path as an argument next we need to use the json writer class to write the serialized json into this file which we have just created so json writer equals to new json text writer and then we need to provide the stream writer object as an argument and then we can use the json serializer object which we created up there to serialize this data object so json serializer dot serialize and then we need to provide the json writer as an argument and then this data which is being sent in as an argument and now we can close the writer and the stream writer so json writer dot close and then streamwriter.close and that's pretty much it to serialize any object into the json format next we are going to write the code to deserialize the json text into a c sharp object so when we deserialize the json text into an object then we get a j object and from that j object we need to fetch an object so let's just first create the variable for the j object to fetch the object from the j object we also need access to its type so we need to add another argument over here so type and then data type we will not be using this normal object because we will be dealing with the j object so j object obj equals to null and then we need to create an object from the json serializer so json serializer equals to new json serializer just check if the file exists or not if file dot exists provide the file path 
then we can go on and read the files contents we are going to use the stream reader for that purpose so stream reader sr equals to new stream reader and let's just provide the file path as an argument next we need to create the object for the json reader class type so json reader equals to new json text reader and we need to provide the argument for the stream reader so let's just do that and then we can fetch the j object by deserializing the text content which has been read from this file so json serializer dot deserialize and then we need to provide this json reader as an argument and then let's just cast it into a j object and then finally we can close the json reader and we can also close the stream reader so instead of you know closing them explicitly we can also use the using statement so like um, using stream reader equals to new stream reader and then file path when we will exit this code block then this object will be disposed of itself but yep we have already done this code so no need to um, you know deviate ourselves and now finally we can return the object so we can return the object from a j object by calling obj dot to object and then we need to provide the type of the data so data type and that's pretty much it that we need to do to deserialize a json string into a c-sharp object and now it's time to see how we can use it so this is the code from the previous video in which we serialized and deserialized in the binary and xml format i'm just going to comment out these two lines and then let's just copy them to serialize into the json format and then instead of xml serialize let's just call json serialize and json deserialize we don't need the type when we are serializing but we need it when we are deserializing and that's pretty much it i guess and now let's run this code to see if it is working or not so we can print the first name and last name first we are serializing and then saving the serialized data into this file and then we are deserializing by reading this file's contents and i'm going to show you this file's contents so this is the file data.save and when we will open it then here is our person object in the json format and like xml serialization the json serialization also produces its output in the plain text format so while it is visible and readable it is convenient to make changes to it while it is in the serialized format unlike the binary formatter and that's pretty much it for this video guys do let me know what you think about it if you have any questions then feel free to use the comments area please like this video if you think that it is helpful for you also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that it will make sure that you will always be the first to know about any latest video updates and in the last part of this video series i'm going to show you how to implement a custom serialization and deserialization technique for the objects so till we meet in the next video have a great day